squeeze the globules in there. That is very strong. <laughs> of course, the orange ink this is awkward. And yeah, it shoots a lot more stuff. A lot more. This is something I'm legitimately really excited for. Now, this isn't a blaster like in the sense of Nerf or Boomco or Busby or anything like that. These don't use foam darts. These are actually kind of unique. I'm sure something like them exists somewhere at some point, but they are kind of cool. And I love the subject matter in which they're based on, which if you can't read, it is based off Splatoon, which is a game from Nintendo with the sequel coming out here very, very soon. I believe it's in 20 days. I literally cannot wait any longer for this freaking game. But in the meantime, I've got these to kind of keep myself entertained. Now, these are from Jax Pacific, and these are from their World of Nintendo line, which they've done a lot of figures in the past on, but this is kind of a new departure for them because these are actual blasters, physical representations of the blasters from Splatoon, and I am very, very excited for this. So, what we've got to review today is the big one, which is the Splattershot Blaster, which is the standard blaster that you get in the game. It's kind of like your first one, and it's cool. It's like an assault rifle SMG kind of thing. Uh, this one's pump action instead, but hey, it does a thing, and it's cool. And these will retail for about $30. You can pick them up at GameStop. I found this one at Toys R Us, so pick whatever one's closer to you. And next up, we've got the Splattershot Mini, which I don't think is actually a weapon or, you know, ink thing from the game itself these are more of uh i think just something that they can make a cheaper one and sell it because 30 dollars. this one's 15 this one comes with a big blaster goggles and two refills of the ink and then we've got this one which is one refill pistol and then this so basically you've got yourself a splatoon loadout if you buy both these sets and then of course they sell the kind of ink refills and i keep saying ink these are not ink although splatoon is all about kids being squids and squids being kids and inks all over the place these are kind of like a it's actually i haven't opened this yet it's a lot waterier than i was expecting but it's supposed to be more of a gel kind of substance that's non-staining and stuff like that and each one of these cartridges is about 50 shots and these are about i think six or seven dollars each so it's not the cheapest thing ever but you could have a bit of fun with it and of course they look like super soakers because i literally think the splatoon blasters are based off super soakers so this is really really interesting i'm looking forward to this one and just to get a taste of everything we're gonna start with the splatter shot mini here it says it shoots up to 50 shots but I don't see range claims are like that anywhere on these things. I do like how awkward this back panel is. I mean, you see this guy just looking all proud of himself, and then you see his kid with the dorky goggles and everything front and center, which that is, what the heck were they thinking with that one, in all honesty? You just pull it back like a night finder and pull the trigger to fire. It's splat or be splatted. The splatter shot is a rapid fire ink shooter. It excels both ink and turf and splatting enemies, making a perfect choice for any, of any inkling, which are these things from the game. And that's it. There's no, again, range claims. In fact, I believe this is the splatter shot mini, not the splatter shot. So I believe the things are going to be exactly the same. And this is also available the ink refills and then, of course, the ink blaster itself. I really hope these take off because they have a lot of interesting weapons at Splatoon, and I'd love to be able to get a whole line of them what is done is done and it says stays where it splats so yeah it kind of is a gel-like substance and it should be non-staining i'm assuming and a non-toxic i'm also assuming so we've got our splatter shot mini here with a pretty decently sized grip although it's not it's not really all that comfortable as you can see it's kind of an awkward angle and the trigger the way it works yeah, that's that's kind of interesting although it is very nice thick plastic you can see the hole right there and then I'm guessing well we'll look at the instructions before we do anything. Oh it's able to hold an extra splatter shot tank in the bottom of it. Huh. Good on them. That's actually a really good idea. Interesting. Let's see. Oh that's not a very long draw at all. Hmm. It's kinda popping for what it actually is though. So this is orange. Only to be used with Splatoon shake before use only he's with Splatoon. Okay. 
So I'm guessing this will kind of do some kind of activation. This is very, very liquidy for what I was expecting. I was expecting more of a gak-like substance, so we're going to unscrew that. And then it's, yeah, after you remove the very nice cap, it's just a dinky plastic bottle, which I get for for seven or eight bucks, or whatever I spent on these. Hey, table here. Oh, crap, I got some of that in there. Oh, hopefully that doesn't affect everything. So we got this nice, beautiful white table. We should very easily be able to see how this thing works. It looks like a cosplay piece from, like, Bioshock or something. That's interesting. All right. Let's see how well this thing works. I saw nothing come out. Let's try again. Ooh. I still see nothing coming out. And I still see nothing coming out. All right. I think... That should be good enough. It is having trouble catching. Oh, I got a little bit of something out. Ah! There we go! Comes out like a snot. <laughs> it takes a little bit. Yeah, it's just a little bit of a shame that it's so translucent because it would look better if it was more of a solid color. Oh my god, that actually had some pop to it. Yeah, I'm gonna shoot up my car really quick. We'll do some kind of range test with this, but I want to see exactly how far this can go. Uh, you know, in all honesty, it's not that bad. Now, of course, it's more of a shotgun-like effect than what you would expect, or maybe you do expect that, because it's shooting this very, very strange substance. <laughs> and there's probably no reloading this. Maybe you can if you were really, really trying, but I kind of doubt it. But yeah, it's, it just kind of comes out like a shotgun. But the, oh, holy crap, I just shot that clear over my car. There is some pop to this, so that is really interesting. I'm, I'm excited to see, I'm revising my estimates. I wasn't expecting these things to shoot very far at all. And that was with a slight angle, a lot farther than I thought, so. I'm actually gonna have to measure this in some regard. So let's leave that ink right there and see what happens when it dries out in the sun. We do have our goggles here, which are, uh, this is a toy, does not provide protection, then why are you giving it to us? They look really small, really, really small. And they're very, very cheap as you would expect. How do these things look? Yeah, these things aren't really comfortable for adults. I can't see through them, although there's a little bit of a fisheye effect going on. There's quite a bit of plastic between both of the lenses, and they're really not comfortable. They're far too small. I mean, they would look cool in your head, and that's probably about it. All right, well, that does it for the Splattershot Mini, and I will put this off to the side. I have these for some reason, and let us open up the big blaster. Now, this is the one we're the most interested in. This is the $30 splatter shot, which is a replica of the one from the game. And I have high hopes for this one. Now, right off the bat, I'm noticing that the actual inking tank screws onto the top there, which is not, I mean, obviously that's the tank in the game. So it's kind of weird that it screws into the top of that, but what the heck ever. I mean, they can only do what they can. This is to come straight from the game. And that is true. It looks very much like the one from the game. And that is the same, you can see because the bright sun, but that is the same dude looking proud and smug, and then the kid. Uh, why the heck? No, I mean, seriously, what was, what were they thinking with that one? Here we go. We got our instructions, which we might actually need, but the ink, according to it. Ah, ha! They had to put a sticker over the instructions right here. They must have, uh, they must have messed it up somehow. Other than that, they're pretty much the same thing as the last one. Okay, let's get the actual inkling blaster out. Very, very... Oh, ooh, ooh, uh, oh my gosh! That is very strong! <laughs> is, what the heck do I... Oh, there we go. Holy crap, dude. It just sprayed air out at me, I think. That is insane. That is oh, that is very strong, and this feels very good in the hand. It's a much better grip. Let me get the rest of this stuff out of the way. Much better grip. That is an interesting mechanism. 
Although that is very strong. Does that, that doesn't come on every single time, does it? No. Oh, that's very rich in plastic, very strong, really cool. And again, just like the last one, you could put an extra tank in the grip. Interesting. Very interesting. I'm actually digging this. I'm hoping this one hits a little bit harder. So for the sake of uh, keeping all this stuff where it is, I'm just going to reuse this one. Now, what I had to do... Oh, God. <laughs> what I had to do with this one is I had to kind of squeeze all the air out of it and make a vacuum. Oh, this comes off. Oh, God, butterfly! Wants in on the action, too. How the heck does that go on? Do they explain? Oh, that's cool. I don't know how well you can see this because it's such a bright day, but you actually empty the tank into the splatter shot. So you don't have a tank sitting on the top of it. Uh, that's insane. Okay, so let's just uh, squeeze the globules in there. Oh, that is... It's After I shook it up, it's a lot more solid and gacky, which is kind of what I was expecting. But it still breaks apart pretty easily. We'll put the tank back on there. Now it says you want to slowly pump the blaster 15 to 20 times, approximately, or until the ink starts to discharge from the blaster. Yeah, it's actually a little bit better than the splatter shot. So I'm gonna I'm gonna grab these things and I'm gonna shoot them. I'm trying to find a target big enough. Um, I'll shoot them at my car and that will make it a lot easier to kind of see what the ranges are like. So let's get right to that. All right, so here we are. This is not uh, Nerf War distance, but you can guess the table is six feet. So we're about, I would say, 20 feet away, if that. Um, I just wanted to briefly show, just briefly. All right, so we're not at like Nerf War distance. If you could see the table is, what, six feet. So we're a about 22 feet away. This is uh, this is pretty crazy. I just want to demonstrate this. So I put the, the blue ink in there and I'm gonna shoot my hand. And there it is sitting on the edge of my finger. And that time it came off, but when it's like that stuff that's on in my palm, let me aim it. I can't get rid of it. It's very, very good at sticking. It is water-based, so it should come out of anything, but it's about what that's like. So I'm using the blue ink, so, or, well, it's the gel. We're gonna shoot it at the car. We'll do flat first and see if it can even reach. And yeah, it does. It's, again, kind of a shotgun shot, and a lot of it, oh my gosh. So the range is really inconsistent. Um, one of them landed on the hood, the others landed on the window, and one even hit the sunroof there. I'm going to try to shoot it off to the side here, and even with an angle, I, I can clear the car, but just barely, and I know that's almost impossible to see. It's like a shotgun, in all honesty. There's no, there's no real aiming these things. Uh, get rid of some of the well I guess it's going to be a car washing day huh that's the splatter shot mini now for the one I'm the most interested in I want to see if this will actually shoot farther and again this pump does not lock in place anywhere but up front or back here and it, it takes a lot of effort I'm really worried about that thing the catch breaking I don't know why I just feel like that might be an issue and it is locked. It's got a safety on the side of it. Eh, there's a bug on me. Here we go. And this one is shooting, of course, the orange ink. It's awkward. And yeah, it shoots a lot more stuff. A lot more. And with a slight angle, its range is. Well, there's a breeze going on, and of course, these things will probably do better in an indoors environment. But I'm, I'm wondering how much parents are going to like this stuff kind of getting anywhere. It does say in the instructions, use these things outside. 
And as for clothes and whatnot, I'm not worried about this. All this stuff should come off in a wash. I'm not really worried about that. In fact, I'm gonna test to see how that stuff lasts sitting on my car in the blazing hot sun. But yeah, the uh, splatter shot itself does shoot quite a bit more ink. And the range is a little bit better, but it's not better by a whole lot. It's definitely a lot more consistent though. The main globules are hitting a far more distance than the splatter shots minis blue globules but yeah you can see it's pretty inconsistent ah there we go i just cleared the car so that is an interesting little blaster definitely usable for some kind of fun war thing and i like how it it sticks and makes sure it hits its target so huh i don't know i actually I really like these things. I really honestly like these. I think these are a fun little toy. And if you want to use it in a war, if people will let you, as long as everybody's wearing good eye protection, I mean, I don't want to get this stuff in your eye. So if they're wearing goggles though, it should be fine. That's really interesting. Huh, okay, hold on. I'm gonna, I think we're, we're ready for a conclusion. They're drying in the hot sun for a little bit. Yeah, this stuff will dry up pretty nasty. I mean, it will still come out, kinda, but you'll definitely have to wash it. But that's that. And I've got some shots that landed all the way over here. And let's see, looks like right there we've got some. And that might have been the longest shot. I don't think we got any more past there. And that was probably with the splatter shot itself. But pretty darn cool. Not bad. So overall to my conclusions, let's start with the splatter shot mini first. For the $15 I paid, there's not a whole lot here. You do get one ink canister. You do get the pistol itself with a Night Finder pullback prime, which is, the prime is very comfortable. Sometimes it doesn't lock all that well. I don't know if that's because it's twisting left or right or something when I'm priming it. And the grip is not really made for adult hands, but it does work. It's a pistol. That's kind of what it's used for. And the range is okay. I'm gonna say with a slight angle, you're gonna hit, unless there's a lot of wind, probably about 30 feet. Again, they're like water gel droplets and not exactly solid projectiles. I don't think these things will ever hurt anybody at all. I only kind of wonder if getting this stuff in your eye is a problem, but it does seem to be water-based and I highly doubt it's any kind of toxic whatsoever. And the goggles you get with them, they're okay. I mean, for kids, probably like them. For me, the most I'd probably ever do is just put them on my head. Uh, they're very small for a childlike face and not exactly for mine. But for $15 for the package, it's not bad. Next up, we've got the splatter shot itself, which I am a lot more enthusiastic for, except for that price. Now, this thing has a very beautiful pump on it. It's not very comfortable, although it's stylized after the game, but it's a very, very slick pullback. Like, it feels very definite. It's just that last little latch on the very end might be the issue, but the grip is very comfortable, although, this is obviously not very comfortable up here, just kind of rides on your hand, but it's not that bad at all. And the overall aesthetics, it looks like the one from the game, so I'm very happy with that, and it does come with the same goggles and two ink cartridges. And thankfully, since this one, you kind of twist on the, the ink canister, like on the other one, and this one you just dump in, and though it still has a place in the bottom for an extra one, that's a lot better than how I thought it was. For $30, it's pushing it. It's really pushing it. I think 25 would be a little bit better of a sweet spot, that's uh, that's just how it works. My main concern is the refills. At least at Toys R Us, they're like $5.99 each for two refills, which are worth about 50 shots each. And honestly, without the fancy little cap on the top of them, they're just like really, really thin bubble water bottle kind of things. I, they're definitely not really worth, I wouldn't want to like buy 30 or 40 of them and try to have a fun war with people. You know what I mean there? You can blow through $20 in refills really quick. And I think that's kind of the Achilles heel of this entire thing. 
I don't even know if I'm gonna open mine, to be honest. I really like the idea of them, but if they were like $2.99 or $3.99, I could see that being just fine, but for double that price, even with like the Nintendo markup on that, that's a bit too much in my opinion. It would be nice if somebody could come up with an analog for them, something that will shoot just fine out of these blasters, but is way cheaper that you can make at home, like using cornstarch or something like that. That would be a lot better. Honestly, uh, that's like, that's the only thing stopping me from wholeheartedly recommending these. But if you're a fan of Splatoon like I am, then you're probably gonna pick them up anyway. And again, same thing with this one. There's no doubt in my mind that this can be converted to shoot darts. I mean, that is a hefty spring load on these things. And they fire really good most of the time. I don't know what just happened right there. There we go. Now I have to make sure I wash the car. I dig it. I dig it a lot. So let me know what you think about the, the Splatoon Splatter Shot and Splatter Shot Mini down in the comment section below. Can they take a K26? I honestly think they might already have K26 in them. It's a very hefty prime. I'm very happy with my purchase though. I'm Walcom S7. Thank you very much for watching this video. And of course, I hope to see you in an entirely different one. And obviously, if you saw this video, sometimes they get pretty freaking different.